Hey guys, Filippo here. Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about dodge and burning. You might have saw this specific technique on some of my Instagram posts. You might have saw it on the color grading or advanced grading masterclass. But today I want to talk about it just a bit more in a specific way, uh, talking about the method that I use the most and the most accurate one and specific one when it comes to actually dodge and burning your image. I'm gonna teach them both, you will be the one choosing which one to use in your color grading pipeline. So enough chit chat, let's jump inside the Venture Solve. So today we're gonna talk about the dodge and burning technique. So this technique is a technique made to help you separating the dodge and burning part of your image and create a more pleasing image to the eye of your audience by helping the light to be reshaped into your image. I will be using two specific methods for this one and I'll be starting with the simplest one with the parallel method and parallel notes and this is the one that you might have saw tons of time on my Instagram channel. So let me just start with this by reshaping the light and the first one that I want to do is just reading the shadows in my image and helping my whole image to, you know, reshaped everything that we got here in a more even way. So I'll be creating this one right here. And in this case, I will be working with curve and I want to take the inverse selection of everything I've done here. So every th selection will be crucial because you might need it to translate everything that you got on other parallel and made other adjustments. So for this one, I'll be just cranking down the mids just a touch and I'll be helping the softness even more. Okay, for the second one I'll be carrying around my key, invert this and just adjust the light on center. By the way, you can use wheels if you want. On the third one I'll just be creating a vignette lookalike to blend everything together. And with this method, the great thing is that you will be blending all those layers together and everything that we'll be doing will be applied also on on the other um, on the other notes and on the whole parallel. So that's a great thing of this method is that everything it's not actually separated for the fourth one. I want to make just a similar selection but more through the center and more feathered and invert this too. And just crank it down too. And by the way, I want to crank down the key out for this just a touch. And one last will be dedicated to my monitor here. So I'll be drawing a simple shape. I want to be accurate in this. I'll be just faster to let you understand these two methods. I'll be cranking down a bit those curves. And I'll be adjusting this. So with these really simple methods, as you can see in literally one or two minutes, we reshape the whole light of our image. You want to be accurate, actually, you want, you know, maybe shape everything in a even way. But as you can see, this whole image now stand up in a really great way. And you might also add some meat on details on some part of your image. And so just take a look at this before and after is just stunning. So this is a really simple way with the parallel node, but let me just cancel those things and let me create a layer and let me just create a few correctors here with the first two layers I'll be actually working with the color mode color dodge so as you can see this is dodging my two RGB inputs so everything is really brightened up what I want to do is just thinking in the same way what I want to bright up from my image so let me just recall this dodge I might want to bright up this part as I've done before so I want to create the exact same selection and in this way just take a look at your selection by the way I want to draw this shape understanding where the light areas will fall 
So for this specific layer, we don't want to make specific adjustment. We just want to focus ourselves on the old selection of the light. If we're applying, actually applying this dodge uh, method, I will be carrying my selection down. And on this one, I will be just working with the key output. So check this. By cranking the key output down, I won't be messing around with curves. I won't be messing around with primaries, with everything I got. I will be working just with the sum of the two images. So in the same way I've done with parallels, I'll be, I might be adding more layers, carrying around my selection and just working with the output to dodge my image in the way I want. In the same way, I can go there create other layer nodes and change this composite mode to color burn. And for this one, I will call this burn. And with the same, you know, mentality in the same way, I will be, you know, thinking about what I want to burn in this part of my image. So in this specific one, I just want to burn everything that it's not in the center. So I'll be creating something like a vignette. So the mentality is the same one we used before, but this time we'll be just working with the original, you know, inputs without adding anything from curves or from primaries. Same thing, carry the selection down and this top will be inverted to, and now we'll be also working with the key output. So drag this down, down, down. And as you can see, by being really accurate, you'll be working with the burn method. So in my opinion, there is not a best method to apply, but for sure this one is the most organic one. I might say that it's not super handy and that's why I'm not using this that much, but for sure is the most accurate one. And you just have to remember to work with the key output. You might also work with the offset and a bit with the key input if you want, but to have the old effect, effect done, you just start to crank the gain of the output of both in the way you want. And for sure, it won't be super handy, you know, to translate everything you got in the same way you will be doing with the parallel ones. But the thing that we have to say is that for sure you'll be working with the original input. So again, there is not a must or correct way from this to you just have to decide the method that you want to apply to your own image, the best one for your pipeline and the best one for the results you want to achieve. So guys, hope you like the video, hope you like these methods. I just want to remind you that just for this week, by subscribing to my email list, you'll be receiving the strategic colorist checklist for free. You just have to go on my Instagram page, click on the link in my bio, subscribe to my email list and you will be receiving this free strategic colorist checklist. So go to the link below or in my bio on Instagram and sign off. Until the next time, be brave and make it better.